Fundamentalist zealots just keep killing and killing and killing innocent people, firing into houses for no reason at all. So right now, Israel has already killed twice as many innocent civilians, Palestinians in Gaza. But I do not understand how anyone can watch what's happening in Gaza right now and somehow think those innocent civilians are different. They're less important, their lives don't matter. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mulai muak dengan kebrutalan Zionis Sirahel, jurnalis yang dulunya pro Sirahel berbicara soal isu kekerasan dan pelanggaran hukum internasional yang dilakukan oleh militer Zionis Sirahel. Chen Ugiur dan Nana Kosparian membawa acara berita The Young Talk. Baru-baru ini mereka membicarakan pengobatan yang dilakukan oleh tentara Zionis Sirahel ke jalur Gaza. Dan mereka berdua mengkritik keras tindakan yang banyak menelan korban dari warga sipil di jalur Gaza. Anna Kasparian mengaku sempat dikecam oleh pemerintah Amerika karena keberaniannya mengkritik berbicara menentang kekerasan yang dilakukan oleh militer Zionis Sirahel. Selain itu, Jen Ugiur berpendapat bahwa invasi ke jalur Gaza bukanlah perang melawan teror, melainkan aksi genosida terhadap rakyat Palestina. Uh, the militant settlers in the West Bank are a scourge uh, upon uh, humanity, upon Israel, Gaza, and uh, the entire region. So they're uh, militant religious zealots uh, that are borderline lunatics. And they think that God whispered in their ear that they should steal Palestinian land. And that somehow that uh, brings some sort of prophecy to fruition from thousands of years ago. Total utter lunatics, okay? And they wantonly and indis indiscriminately killing Palestinians left and right. Israeli police looking, Israeli I IDF looking, oftentimes not doing anything about it. Guys, whenever you see a story like this, and I said it in the case of Hamas, and I'm saying it now in the case of the settlers. Think about if the shoe was on the other foot. So imagine that the Palestinians are, are the occupying force, and the Jews are being occupied in an open air prison, a ghetto of some sort. And the Palestinians send in settlers to steal more and more Jewish land. And the settlers are nuts, they're fundamentalists, and they go around killing Jews randomly. Right, and the Palestinian police go, I don't see it, and I'm not gonna do anything about it. What would the whole world do? I would hope that the whole world would say, stop massacring, murdering Jews, innocent people for no reason, let alone the occupation. And you're gonna let these religious fundamentalist zealots just keep killing and killing and killing innocent people, firing the houses for no reason at all. I would hope the world would say that, I know America would say that. But when it's Palestinians, their lives just don't matter, right? Let's be honest, just be honest for a second if you're in America or Israel. You just don't care about their lives. They just, those poor folks living in the West Bank, let alone Gaza now, no one cares about them. And those maniac settlers can go kill them anytime they like and almost always get away with it. So right now, Israel has already killed twice as many innocent civilians, Palestinians in Gaza, as Hamas killed innocent civilians in Israel. So my question to the American government is, when is it enough? Is four times as many Palestinian civilians enough? Is 10 times, 20 times? How much murder and death does America want? And how much does it fund? Not only are they sending billions of dollars more to Israel now, what the hell do they need that for? They have the biggest military in the area. We already send them more money than we send anyone else. Does it look like they need more bombs? My answer to that is hell no, I, I would, no way. I would just like the US government to change their go to default statement that we hear over and over again to be a little more accurate. So they love to say Israel has a right to defend itself. Okay, change it to what it really is. The United States government will, ta will take finite resources from the American people and fund a brutal bombing campaign that Israel wants to carry out in the Gaza Strip that will just brutalize and murder all sorts of innocent Palestinian civilians while simultaneously conflating them with Hamas. Just tell the truth, because that is what the situation really is. See, for me, 
Seeing what happened to Israeli civilians disgusted me and made me so angry to my core. But I do not understand how anyone can watch what's happening in Gaza right now and somehow think those innocent civilians are different. They're less important, their lives don't matter. Whether we're talking about an Israeli child or a Palestinian child, they are children who do not deserve the disgusting war and brutality that they are experiencing right now. But you know, apparently people have mask off, total mask off. Yeah. Total mask yep. off. This war has really shown me that all of the endless, you know, preaching about equality, 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 we need to work toward equality. That's the Democratic Party. Yeah. They don't nothing. really care about equality. Nothing. When push comes to shove, when it goes outside of just engaging in tokenism, okay, they're not really about equality. Because as those Palestinian children are being bombed to death, they've got no problem with it. In fact, they'll come after me for speaking out against what's happening. Because we're not supposed to speak out against it, Jake. Israel has a right to defend itself. Yeah. How exactly is this defending itself? Yeah, so let me address that in a couple of ways. So first of all, on the hostages, it doesn't look like there's any effort being made. They don't made care to about the hostages. hostages. So they, they bom they're bombing the tunnels. Okay, I get the military idea behind bombing the tunnels. But not when Hamas has the hostages. The hostages are almost definitely in the tunnels. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you bombing the tunnels that the hostages are almost definitely in? There's literally American civilians, American citizens in the Gaza Strip right now who are trapped as we speak. And you have the United States government coming after anyone who dares question the bombing campaign that Israel is carrying out right now. So do you care about the American citizens at all? Do they matter? Apparently they don't even matter. Look guys, none of this makes any sense other than collective punishment. So this is so dumb. This Well, it isn't dumb. Let's be honest about what it is. This is not a military operation. No. This is just killing enough Palestinians so that it's collective punishment. Let me finish that thought one extra step. So guys, what is the theoretical end game here? The stated goal of Israel is ridiculous. The Israeli right wing government, let's be clear. They say until the Palestinians give up leadership of, of, of Hamas, they, that Hamas no longer represents them. How would they even tell you that? There's no Hamas and the democracy, there's no voting. <laughs> How could they possibly tell you that they are no longer represented by Hamas? It's an unanswerable question on purpose because Netanyahu just wants to kill them. Come on, keep it real. Israel had the moral high ground, which is it unfortunately hasn't had for over 50 years. Our hearts went out to Israel and we were all on Israel's side. And now Netanyahu burned the moral high ground to the to the ground and 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 so, all right, look, Anna's 100% right, mask off moment. I see all over social media people like frothing at the mouth going, kill them, kill the Palestinians. And you know you're doing that if you're out there, if you're a right winger. Uh, great, congratulations. It's not just right wingers, Shane. I got keep you, it but, real. but, but not keep it real, right it's mainly right wingers, okay? So, and those guys, okay, now we know who you are. It took, oh, oh, right wing's not for war. No, you're warmongers. The minute anybody's being killed, you're you're there for the party, okay? So they can, they get, you're there with bells on. Just check out my Twitter account. Jake, They're so excited to Jake, murder Muslims. Jake, Jake, listen. So I, look, I, 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 I won't go to Israel uh, until they end the occupation. I think you're crazy to go to Israel uh, or spend any money or do anything related to Israel until they end the occupation. If 56 years isn't enough, that means it's never going to be enough. You're, they're gonna keep those people as prisoners for the rest of our lives and I can't stand it. It's the core evil in this situation. I'm so sorry that you, that that government has done that, but I didn't do it, that government did it. And whether it's the American government or my original uh, country of origin, Turkey. And in this case, how long are you going to occupy them? It's not gonna end, Jake. It's not gonna end because you don't think Palestinians are human beings. If you thought they were just like you, if you thought they were your kids or your aunts or uncles, you would never do this to them and you would never allow it. So you wanna defend yourself, we're all on board. You wanna kill wanton 
the indiscriminate death of Palestinians. With what Hamas did is barbaric. When you kill twice as many innocent civilians, what does that make you?